Have you ever wanted a barrel so loud you scare the people around you? Well, say hello to the paintball DNA micro blunderbuss. It's like an M80 exploding at the end of your gun. It's great. It's really just kind of startling. Just listen to how loud it is during gameplay. And this is also a microphone filmed off the field attached to the camera. So it's kind of far away. It's just super loud. Oh my God. I'm going to that corner. Okay, yeah. <laughs> It really is just ridiculous. Just listen how louder it is over the other gun shooting off the brake. It's just so loud. You can hear that other player's gun pretty good, but you gotta think that he's standing right next to that microphone. While the blunderbuss is still so much louder. It's so loud that this guy, Mark, actually heard my gun shooting and he thought I was the center 50 and he came around to bunker the center 50, but no one was there because I was, you know, 30 feet behind it. And it's crazy when I get closer to the camera or that microphone, the microphone just can't even take it because the barrel is so loud. You can hear it like get all crunchy and crazy sounding. It's just like overpowering everything. And this is my EMEC with the Shaft 5 barrel, the same stock barrel that comes on the Ether 3 or the 3M. This microphone's about 20 feet away right there. And I didn't mess with the audio at this at all. This is exactly what you're hearing coming off the sound recorder. And uh, yeah, it's insane. It really like, you know, shooting it the first few times, it does kind of make your ears ring a little bit. That's probably why they put this, you know, warning on the website. Warning. This blunderbuss barrel can hit decibels around 115 dB. This product should be used while wearing ear protection. Please do not shoot directly next to anyone's ears. Anyone nearby should also be advised to wear ear protection. This is the first 3D printed barrel I ever used, you know, and I was a little bit concerned. I mean, it is printed and it's plastic. So I was curious about the durability and just how the thing screwed into a barrel, but it's made really well. It's really thick and really solid feeling. And I think as long as you don't fall directly on the barrel tip, it's probably gonna hold up over time. Those threads though will wear out eventually. You gotta think that, you know, you're threading it into an aluminum piece, that plastic on aluminum, and it'll eventually just wear out. But I feel like it'll last a long time. It feels really good just, you know, screwing the thing on there. And being so short, I kind of thought accuracy was going to be bad, but it really was perfectly fine. You know, it shot straight and didn't have any problems. It's definitely hard to aim with, though. I mean, you got to think it's got that, like, flare at the end of the barrel. So it's a little bit harder to look straight down the barrel. You kind of got to look around it a little bit. But it worked out. And I think this thing's just fun, right? It's obviously not that practical. It's so loud, you can't really hear your teammates, and it's really just kind of like hard to play with because it's so loud and it's just kind of fun they're only ten dollars too which is cool i mean they're not like seventy dollars like a normal barrel tip so it's ten bucks and you can have a little fun paintball dna make a bunch of cool 3d printed stuff their most popular thing is probably their pump hopper the jolo hopper they also have this cool like eight inch freak barrel that's a really short barrel that takes freak inserts they make a lot of cool gun stands i also got this magazine well kind of hopper adapter for my emf 100 so if you want to see an emf 100 hopper side feed video subscribe <laughs>